Well, it's day one of, um, of, of the lockdown. Um, obviously, a long way to go. Uh, we're just trying to adapt to what is a, you know, a new abnormal, or whatever you want to call it. I think um, the message which we've given to our players very strongly yesterday before we, before we broke up and continuing to via our various communication channels is that um, this is a massive, as, as tragic as it is for the country and for the world and um, disappointing it is in all our circumstances, there's an opportunity for us to get better as, you know, as players, as people, to connect better with our families uh, than, we, than we perhaps would have in a normal busy working life. And uh, rugby-wise, I know one's, yeah, one's uncomfortable talking about something which seems as trivial as rugby, but rugby-wise, uh, and it's important because um, it, you know, there's a whole industry in South Africa, it's what gives these players and coaches and a lot of people around the team their meaning of their lives. In some cases, it's a vocation. So, um, you know, rugby-wise, what I think is, as I said, to become better players by the end of this period. So I hope when competition pick, picks up, and hopefully that's the shortest possible after the, after the lockdown finishes, and I know that there are people behind the scenes making plans for some, some exciting South African rugby, um, that, that we pick it up as quickly as possible. And we're looking forward to getting back on the field. That's what we're meant to do. It's what we want to do. It's in the DNA of all these players here. And we're excited about playing, and we just want to make sure that we use this period to get ourselves in the best position to do as well as we can.